Mary Margaret Bartown born on July 24, 1866, died on July 25, 1954, was a pioneering American judge and lawyer, particularly in the area of juvenile justice. She was the first woman appointed Cook County Public Guardian in Illinois in 1897, and the first woman elected judge in a court of high jurisdiction in the state in 1923. Earlier, appointed a judge assistant in 1913, she began hearing court cases involving juveniles, and was referred to at that time as, America's only woman judge, by the New York Times. Professional Career Known as a social reformer, during the Progressive Era, Mary Bartown devoted much of her life to the reform of juvenile laws and the welfare of children. In 1897, she was named Cook County Public Guardian, the first woman in this post. She became known throughout Illinois as a tireless advocate for children. Her compassion for the girls who came before her earned her the nickname Mother Bartholm. She would later acquire another nickname, Suitcase Mary, because when she sent girls to foster homes, she always provided them with clean clothes, packed in a new suitcase. Bartelm believed that there was dramatic social neglect of girls, that parents must speak frankly with their daughters about sex, and that poverty was the main cause of delinquency. In May 1912, she was named an assistant judge in the Juvenile Court of Cook County. Then, in March 1913 Bartelm convened a special girls' court, which heard cases of delinquent and dependent girls, many of them prostitutes. All personnel in this closed court were female, which was felt to encourage a more open discussion of sexual and other private matters. Bartelm later established three Mary Clubs for girls who were not able to return to their parents, supported by volunteer services, as an alternative to state institutions. The first two clubs, which started in 1914 and 1916, accepted white girls, the last one, started in 1921, accepted girls of color. More than 2,000 girls passed through these group homes in a space of 10 years. Throughout her career, Bartlam received national and international visitors, who came to study her pioneering work. She was featured in the May 25, 1913, issue of the New York Times Magazine in an article entitled, America's Only Woman Judge is Doing a Big Work. In the 1916-1917, she served as vice chair of the National Women's Party. In late 1923, she was elected judge of the Circuit Court of Cook County, and she was re-elected in 1927. After a distinguished career, she retired in June 1933. Prior to her official retirement, in May, more than 2,000 well-wishers honored her with a luncheon, at which she was praised for her many achievements. Later years After she retired, Judge Bartell moved to the West Coast, residing in Carmel, California, where she lived with a niece. She occasionally returned to Chicago for a visit. In California, she continued to do speaking engagements, discussing the need to improve the juvenile justice system. In 1936 she received primary class instruction in Christian science from Bicknell Young CSD, having been a practicing Christian scientist for many years. She died in late July 1954, at age 88. One of her final requests was that upon her death, in lieu of flowers, donations would be made to the Mary Bartelm Clubs, which were still in operation. Mary Bartown would later be described as the single most important person in the first 25 years of the Cook County Juvenile Court, the first juvenile court established in the U.S. Legacy In September 1957, a new Chicago elementary school that was named for her opened. It was able to accommodate more than 400 students. The school was located on Ridge and Rogers Park. It was torn down sometime in the 1970s to make way for a senior citizen apartment home. Mary Bartown Park, in the West Loop area of Chicago, is also named in her honor. Thanks for watching Herdery Channel. Don't forget to like the video. And subscribe our channel.